In this lesson, we're going to see how to make dynamic fields in your mail merge. So let's go back into Microsoft Word. And we're going to open up the document that we made with the Excel data, which is going to be the sample mail merge with Excel. And again, when you open up any of these mail merge documents, you'll get this message, which really just means it's going to reconnect to the data source. So I'll pick on yes. No problem. Okay. So here it says, thank you for signing up for our service. So maybe we have different products and we want to send a mail merge for each different product, but we want it to prompt us each time. So in this case, I'm going to go ahead and click uh, right before the word service and then type in a space. And then I'll pick on the mailings menu and we'll pick on the word rules. In this case, I'm going to say fill in. So that's going to prompt them each time. So I'll say what service will be the prompt. And we can make it fill in a, a default. So I'll say the home, home water delivery. Okay. Now you want to click where it says ask once because otherwise it'll ask for each individual person. So to make it more efficient, you say ask once unless you want each person to have a different one. So I'll click on OK. Now it'll come up uh, at first here, so I'll click on OK. And you can see how that filled that in, but really it's going to come up when we do the mail merge at the end. So I'll pick on Finish and Merge, and then I'll pick on Edit Individual Documents. We're going to print all of them, so I'll click on OK. And then there's that prompt. So every time they can type in a different answer there, and I'll click on OK. And now it says home deliveries, uh, home water delivery at that location on all of the, uh, the form letters, as we can see. All right, so that was one way to do a prompt. Now, another way we can do it is we can have, do an if then situation. So I'm going to close this finished document. And I'm not going to save the finished document. Let's go back to the template here. So after that, let's say in the state of Texas, we're going to say a message, but only for the state of Texas. So after that period, I'll type in or I'll pick on the mailings menu. I'll pick on rules and we'll do an if then. If then else. So I'm going to say if the state equals it's going to be tx if the state is equal to tx then we'll say something like this service will no longer uh, i'll say please note this service will only be available in the state of Texas through 12-31-2021. And then if it's not going to be Texas, we won't say anything there. So let's see what's going to happen with this one. I'm going to click on OK. So now in this case, let's go ahead and run the mail merge again. I'll pick on Finish and Merge. And I'll pick on Edit Individual Documents. And we'll click on OK. There's that initial prompt. So we'll still use the Home Water Delivery Service. I'll click on OK. Now notice how that extra message didn't come up because this one says Maryland, right? So let's go to our next page. The next page does say Texas for the state and then the additional message came up. If I go to the next page, it's South Carolina. It didn't come up. If I go to the next page, then it's Texas again and the message did come up. So. I'm going to close out of the finished uh, document here. Close that. I'm not going to save it. So in this case, I picked on the mailings menu and I picked on the rules. If I wanted to prompt 
for uh, an answer, I'll pick on fill in. Otherwise, we could do an if then else. And that's how you can add uh, dynamic phrases into your mail merge here in Microsoft Word. Another thing we can change about the mail merge is the greeting line. So let's go back into Word. And again, I'm going to go back to the mail merge that I've been working on through this course with the Excel document. And of course, it's going to reconnect to the Excel spreadsheet. So we'll pick on yes here. Notice how I have dear and the first name, right? Well, let's see some options for that. So I'm actually going to get rid of that line. And then I'll, I'll make another blank line there and go up to the blank line. In this case, I'll pick on the mailings menu. And then I'll pick on greeting line. So I can change it to the word dear or the word to or none. Then I can have their full name there, or I could say Mr. or Mrs. You know these kind of things. Uh, we can we can uh, you know have different variations of the name here. So in this case, uh, I will put their name. Otherwise. It's saying uh, if, if you had a spouse's name, you can include that in the in the greeting as well. So I'll just use their name. And in this case, we'll use the comma or the semicolon at the end. And then if they don't have a first name in there, then I can replace it with just dear sir or madam or to whom it concerns, you see. So here you can make the greeting line more dynamic. I'm going to go ahead and click on OK. And then the greeting line is going to show up there. Let's see what it looks like when we complete the merge. So I'll pick on finish and merge, edit individual documents. I'll click on OK. There's that prompt that we did in the previous lesson. I'll click on OK there. So it says Dear Amanda. And then the next page will say Dear Ann, Dear Antonio, and so on. So I'm going to close out of this finished document. I'm not going to save this one. What we did there was under the mailings menu, we picked in the word greeting line. And then you have some great choices to make your greeting line more dynamic. 